Hey, and thanks for joining me on this video as we go over our projects within SERP Woot. Now, projects um, is a fully featured screen within SERP Woot. By that, what I mean is there's lots of things that you can actually do within this panel. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of our panels within SERP Woot are simple. They only have a couple functions. Within projects, you can actually do quite a lot. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, now, projects is easily gotten to from the top navigation within SERP Woo. As you hover over that navigation button, uh, you can select individual projects like it's showing you right now. Or you can simply click on the navigation button itself, and you're going to be brought to the exact same screen that we were on just now. Now, within projects, you can actually uh, look at active projects, or you can hide projects. Uh, that's what this hidden selection is over here. Uh, now, the reason why you might want to do that is you might have some old projects that you're not currently looking at actively. You might just have some some projects um, that are, um, you know, not only just old, but just stuff that you're just not working on. And you kind of want to hide them out of the display right now because there might be something different that you're currently working on or, or have priority for. Uh, you can easily do that with projects uh, that you own by selecting the checkbox for them. And then coming over here to show hide. And based on the selection that you do, it'll move it over to either hidden or as an active project, which is the, the selection that we're looking at now on this panel. Now, uh, you can also quickly add keywords and domains to a project. Uh, you know, maybe you're looking at all of your projects and you realize, oh, you know what? I remember this keyword that I needed to add to a project, or I remember this domain or URL that I want to track within a project. Instead of having to um, go back uh, through Project Wizard or try to uh, fumble through, you can actually just go to this projects panel and find the project that you're working on. Uh, you know, we'll look at celebrities here and you can do a quick add. And this is where you can actually add in the keywords that you want to add or the domains and URLs that you want to track. And you can hit save and it will update that project for you. Now, also at a glance, uh, you can see what type of campaign this is. If this is a regular campaign uh, showing you, uh, you know, the different settings that, that are set up for a regular campaign, or if this is an online reputation management campaign. Uh, so you can easily see that here as ORM or as regular. Uh, you can also look at the locality if you have the locality for that project specifically set up. Uh, like for here, we've got Catalonia and Spain. Uh, you can also look at language se selection. Um, like here, we've got uh, Spanish or we've got French for this particular uh, Toronto campaign in Canada. You can also look if this is set up as desktop or mobile. And you can actually see the number of keywords that are in this campaign and any domains or URLs that are being tracked as well. Now, also from this uh, panel, you can rename a campaign and you can look at insights and you can look at the project. So if we go ahead and look at insights, uh, now insights work when you're tracking a domain or a URL. So we'll pick this celebrities campaign right here and we'll look at our insights. And we can quickly tell how many are rising, how many are dropping, how many are in number one position, two through five, six through 10, 11 through 20. And again, this is based on uh, domains or URLs that we are tracking. Um, we can also, if we want to, uh, for the same campaign, look at the project itself. Now, this would be like a single view of the project, not all of your projects, but just a single view. And we can get a really quick overview of rankings and SERP visibility. We can go back to the top here and get a quick overview again of all the positions 
We can look at quick glance for this particular project. Uh, we can look at our alerts uh, that have came in for this project, any notes that we have written. There's no notes on this particular project right now. And we can look at all of the settings too, which is again, the project type and any type of alerts that we have. So if I go back to projects again, we can actually look at ORM or regular and have those changed. And we can actually change the alerts for a particular project as well. Uh, if we want no alerts or if we want one position or two position changes, you know, what kind of alerts that we want there. Again, you would be selecting the checkbox uh, for those campaigns that you want to change. Now, we can also delete projects from here as well. Uh, the bolt delete button will delete a project. And something that uh, is kind of unique is, let's say that you delete a project and you realize later on that that was a, a, a big mistake. Or maybe you accidentally deleted it and didn't mean to. Uh, or you deleted it because you thought that, that you didn't need the campaign anymore. And then a week later, you, you realize, oh, no, I need that information back. You can actually undelete up to 28 days within Serpu. So if I was to delete these two campaigns right now, which I have selected, which is brands and bees in the trap, uh, I could actually go back and undelete those for up to 28 days. Uh, so there's no worry about losing data if there is an accident or a mistake. Um, so this is the overview of our projects panel. You can definitely dig in and do a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, you, you can hide uh, campaigns and projects. Uh, you can change them from ORM to regular and vice versa. Uh, you can change the alerts. Uh, you can uh, delete them if you want to. You you can actually add keywords and domains and URLs to track, and you can get the insights and look at the project settings and adjust all those right here within Serpu. So it makes it really easy to be able to quickly go into your projects, find, th find certain things, and then change or analyze or monitor those projects all in one simple location. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.